Hi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. We are back with some Bulldogs career mode, back with the post-season action. The Rugby League World Cup, and we've got another tough opponent here today, taking on Mate Ma'atonga. What a pool we're in. And how about the stack side that MMT are fielding? Uh, we're coming into this one, high as a kite, beating one of the top three, one of the big dogs in the Kiwis. When it comes to our squad for this game, we're on that if it ain't broke, don't fix it type beat. It should be a pretty hectic game. Back to back bangers to start our campaign. And I believe we close it out with a minnow in Scotland. But yeah, as always, if you do enjoy the content, you know what to do. Now let's get to it. All I want out of this game is something competitive. You know, that opening game, I know we got the win and all, but it was pretty, uh, pretty lopsided. You hate to play those, especially against quality opposition like the Kiwis. Again, we play against a solid team, this time Tonga. This pool, by the way, is stacked. Yeah, all in all, here's hoping for a competitive game. Play's not quite popping off. Uh, we'll just take the hit up, smash it on the last. Uh, there's a little bump, something, out of a lackluster set, 20 meters gained. Straight for the posts, and it gets taken by Kato. Alright, they'll be starting their sets on their own 30. It's actually not a bad spot. Oh, kill him! Footwork going crazy for the Tongans at Stalakai this time. Let's go early. The game knows what's up. There's the kick. And it bounces just shy of the 20. A little bit of a uh, arm wrestle here in the first 10 as expected. Tongans not quite dominant through the middle. Of all the Pacific Island nations that competed at the League World Cup, I'd say Tonga was up there for my most anticipated and to be honest they were the most disappointing mind you they did have injuries but so did Samoa they picked up an injury like every week it felt like and they did pretty well my most impressive out of those Pacific Island nations would have to be um, would have to be Fiji look at this run Dao Malolo going all the way all right first 20 in the bag Tonga up by six points We've been hanging in there. We haven't made that many line breaks, that many meters in general. Who's this now? Desi New. They're breaking tackles like crazy. Oh, kill him. Oh, bro, that was... <laughs> that was nice. There we go. Paulo, taken by three. We do have a nice line to the right. Milf, straight to Vitala Mariner. What a little goosey from Mariner. And that's going to go straight out. Off the Tongans. We'll take that. A little bit of luck. That was the ricochet of doom. Wu'ai to Tango. Come on, boys. Start putting something together here. Alright, that's not what we want. Leilua, come on, bud. Two place to go. Another nice short ball. Five. Let's go for the old grubber. We have a chaser. And the hammer, I believe that is. Beautiful. Here we go. Hamiso Tabuai Fido gets us on the board. Rubbers and chips in this game. When you do it for yourself, it's pretty cheesy, but I've got to say, when you kick for other players or actual runners chasing the ball, it's pretty satisfying. Maybe back to Junior Paulo. Ooh, we'll get folded. Unlucky use. Let's make some changes to the front row while we're here. Harris Tavita can come in and play 13. Dao Mololo. And one on one. Of course, he outpowers or outmuscles the hammer. When in doubt, just hand it to one of your big boys. That's the motto for these Tongans. <laughs> I did not think it was this lopsided. 75% time possession for the Tongans. Six from six completions. No errors, no penalties conceded. And only the one missed tackle. That's for our boys. Four from five. Not too bad. One error and seven missed tackles. We do have one more line break though. As for the bench, let's go ahead and throw in Jaden Sua for Luciano Leilua. That's about it. 
Oh, f I would be impressed with myself if we hold that mount. Especially with how powerful these dudes are. At the start, they didn't feel less damaging. Damn, bro. With only stacks. All right, we get it. They're strong. These drop down tries are getting out of pocket. That's got only stacks. I mean, you can see him doing that in real life, but I would love to kick us out of trouble. But we, uh, we have no power. That's a nice little play, though. We do make a little bit of meters. Elaborate play to the left. Harv's linking up. We go straight out to Tail and May. Slowly but surely, we're creeping downfield. We are out of tackles. Getting this kickoff. Around the other uh, Tongan 40. To the skies we go. Tackle one. Come on. No way we get caught right there. That's usually a line break. Nine times out of ten, as is this. The defense stuck to us like glue at the moment. We're getting the players though. Can't quite get past the line of defense. There we go. Aloy A. Gotta go for the classic cutout ball. He goes short instead. <clears throat> Gonna run the short side here. I may in space try threading the needle no distance on that make these changes to the front row bring in Paolo we need desperately Tino in for Jazz and we'll chuck Harris Tavita uh, to play hooker looking like an early clearance they come out to stags the kick is awful just what we ordered Another nice drawing pass. Those short balls have been they've been the go-to for us for this match. Can we do another here? No, they jam up. We can't crack them with that play. Damn, the one time we create the overlap, we can't actually find the pass. Why not come to Brian Toto? All right, what is that pass? What is the game doing right there? Back out to Taylor. And we're just offloading. Man, we got sold. We got sold on that pass. Yes. Stags is keeping us in it with his kicking. All right, six minutes. Luai to Lei Lua. We get outside our man, but just turn up the pace. Tino, there we go. Junior Paolo, straight under the black dot. <sighs> Finally, with five minutes left though. Nice little short ball from the big boys, Lincoln. Plenty of space for Big Junior. Can we pull off the miracle comeback? Five minutes to go. Luai to Lei Lua, the fend. Tamo. Easily run down. He's held there. Let him up. First, I want to look for the hammer. Look for the speed, man. Oh, come off it. For Noah Blake. Someone pull him down. You're kidding. You're kidding. That's how it ends. Man. That was... That was quite the performance from the Tongans. Full time, full time, and we fall in our second pool game, 24 points to 12 against uh, Mate Maatonga, Jason Daumololo picking up man of the match, and also picking up two meat pies, the bloody animal. He went crazy this game. As for our pack, uh, we were making meters, but it wasn't wasn't as damaging as, as the Tongans through the middle. Uh, they had most time of possession. I think at half time, it was like 70-30. They end the game with 65%. That pretty much tells the story there. Nowhere near the end of the road though, we do have Scotland to take our frustrations out on. For now though, we're going to wrap it up there. As always, if you do enjoy the content, be sure to sub to the channel. And don't forget to run and shoot that like button. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you. Later.